So the question is the cubic expansivity of mercury is 1.8 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 per Kelvin. So that is the real expansivity. So 1.8 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 per Kelvin. And the linear expansivity of glass is 8.0. So remember, I told you that if you have a vessel and the vessel is subjected to it, then after some time, the liquid will expand. So and if the level of the liquid is there before, if the uh, bottle should expand or the vessel or the glass should expand, the liquid will reduce to a certain level. But after some time, the liquid will in increase again. So from here to the real new position of the liquid is the real expansivity. So the appearance in real life, what you will see without the expansion of the liquid is just from here to here and that is appearance. I've explained this in the former question so you can watch. So now, remember that gamma expansivity is 3 times alpha. So that means the expansion of glass gamma expansivity of glass is equal to three times linear expansivity of glass so gamma expansivity of glass is equal to three times 1.8 times 10 raised to power minus 4 per kelvin so gamma expansivity of glass is 24 times 10 raised to power um sorry this is minus 6 in question So this is 10 per minus 6 per Kelvin is given in question. So now the relation here is now real expansivity is equal to expansion of glass plus the apparent expansivity. But now we are looking for the apparent expansivity. So that will be the real expansivity minus the expansion of glass. So now what is the expansion of glass? So we have 1.8 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 minus 24 times 10 raised to the power minus 6. So the apparent expansivity now, the apparent expansivity now is equal to so 1.8. 5, 6 times 10 raised to the power minus 4. If you press your calculator, yeah. So, per Kelvin. So, that is the answer.